Well, hey, welcome to the morning. Welcome to the morning message today. Hope you guys are doing great. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to use this um, Threads of Fate Oracle deck, this Rose Edition. It's a very cool deck. Thank you, thank you for the gift. I want to see how this plays out today. Uh, tons and tons of very uh, kind of stressful energy today. You know, it's one of those days where everything looks beautiful, right? Everything looks beautiful. But I can imagine some of you are having a stressful time of it. Some of you might be frustrated, not being able to move things forward, not being able to do the things you want to do. So I am just want to say to you, I'm with you more than you know. <laughs> and um, I know Mercury is going, um, not Mercury, uh, Mars is going direct this week. But it's going to take a little time for it to feel like you can affect change in your life. Right? It's just going to take a little bit of time for it to get outside the shadow period. Um, I feel like we'll be dealing with this for a lot of the rest of 2020. I know it's really loud when I make, <laughs> when I use these on this table. Okay, so just want to say, hey, I see you. Okay, I see you. I know things are rough. I know things are maybe frustrating for you. So I just want to say, this is one of the things, higher perspective. This is one of the things I always used to have trouble with, perspective, and still do. <laughs> it's not like, oh, okay, well, you know, we've gone through these awakenings and enlightenment and all this kind of stuff, but I think it's important to be honest about, you know, you still go through stuff, even if you've been through the tunnel, even if you've been through the um, dark night of the soul, even if you've been there, you still have challenges, even more so. And I, I think that's true. I saw someone talking about that the other day on YouTube, that you still have, it's, it's almost like now you can't sleep through it, okay? So what this is saying to you is connect to the heart and release. Just give yourself a break. All right, give yourself a break. Just know that, you know, the more awake you are, it doesn't get easier, it gets harder, right? And so there's all this like <clears throat> hope around relationship, hope around, well, now I can finally do my work. Now I can finally open up to my path. And in many ways, sometimes those paths get more challenging because you're being asked. More is being asked of you. Okay. More is being asked of you these days. Um, and so you're going to need to be, you're going to need to be good to yourself. You're going to need to be kind to yourself. You're going to need to be loving to self. Connect to your heart and release. All right. Release that. This is very much like the serenity prayer. <clears throat> you know, um, underneath is the seven of swords. The serenity prayer about being wise enough to know what you can control and the things you can't control. You just need to let go of them, okay? Um, seven of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Wheel. I'm going to move this up here a little bit. Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups, Three of Cups, Chariot. I like this moving forward on uh, energy here. King of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Two of Cups. All right, so what I want to say to you is that there's still, um, some of you may, I don't know, be lying to yourself a little bit about how much time it takes to get, to get over a broken heart. Okay? Some of you may be, may be lying to yourselves about that or how easy or how difficult things are going to be like once once i hit that threshold man it's going to be easy once i make this amount of money man is it going to be easy once i do this and i'm here to tell you like the challenges just get bigger more daunting more um frustrating more troublesome okay and so i i, I know that's not a, like a happy message but I think it's a realistic message. I think it's a message that says, hey, look, 
You can struggle with that on your own, or you can remember that we're with you. We're all with you, okay? We're, we're all in this together. Wheel of Fortune and Chariot. This is about things moving forward on their timetable. And so what wants to come in here is a celebration of love, a celebration of joyfulness. And I almost feel like um, sometimes it's like rage against the machine. I think I said this the other day about like, just feel the feeling. Instead of trying to get around it, get over it, get behind it, rationalize it. Oh, I don't need to feel it. Just feel it. Just do yourself a favor. Just feel it. Let the tears flow. Let the rage happen. Just feel it. Thankful. Be thankful for it and let it go. Okay. And really let it go. And what does that mean? That really means that you are, you know, having um, a moment of grace. It means you're having gratitude for the lesson. So when things get frustrating, sometimes it's like, hey, I just need to take a break. Okay. Happens here frequently. <laughs> Things get frustrating. Just gotta take a break. Gotta cry myself out. Gotta hug it out. Gotta hug Charlie. Gotta do whatever I gotta do. Right? It's just like give yourself a break. Okay? You are as superhuman as you are. As mo as more that you know. The more we move forward into these new energy levels, new energetic um, experiences. You still have a human body. You still have a human heart. You still have all those things. And so this is a challenge because you're, you're moving beyond into some new places. So connecting to your heart, I'm going to read this to you actually. Okay. Um, connecting to your heart. Oh, there's doggies on this. Look at that doggies. For me, that is my heart. Always the animals, right? The, do the doggies, the kitties, and then release and let go. All right. So this is about perspective, right? Doggies, Charlie had a moment at the beach this morning that was a little embarrassing in front of all of his friends. Had a little tantrum, had a little moment. Now he's cool. Like, not like, oh God, my friends are gonna think I'm so terrible. My friends are gonna think I'm stupid. Like he's not, moment has passed, okay? So, Connecting to the heart, let me see if I can um, find this for you, and I will read it to you, because I think this is the most important part. Okay, connect to the heart, the dog. We can call upon dog as a teacher of vulnerability and unconditional love. When dogs are bonding to their human, it is typical is typically a rather quick process. Even those that have significant trauma can sense when they are safe and will open up to their companions. Small acts like rolling onto their back to expose their belly. Do you see that picture of Charlie the other day? Um, it's a major act of trust as they are exposing their most vulnerable parts to you. In general, dogs move through life constantly looking for love and connection. They are an ally to call upon when you have the painful experiences that have closed you off to life and other people. Dog will teach you how to open up and allow love in when you are overwhelmed with fear. Oh. So rose quartz is the ultimate heart stone. It supports us in love and for ourselves, love for others, love for life, for family, for friends, and our work. If we have felt cold and shut down, rose quartz can activate our heart and awaken it to all those, to all, that there is love, that there is love in our life. If we have anger and resentment, rose quartz can gently wash it away. Call on Rose Quartz if you need a guide to do any of your heart work. Oh, so Charlie really, you know, I have my Rose Quartz here. I actually want to show you this. Um, I have this beautiful Rose Quartz bowl that I got. And I'm telling you, this is the, this is the, the bowl I use for any kind of saging. I use for any kind of ritual. It is really my heart stone. And it, oh, I just, you know, found it on Etsy. It's just the most beautiful thing. So I do keep a lot of stones inside my heart in terms of cleansing. And I feel like this is just about, I mean, I think King of Swords is a lot about perspective. I think it's about seeing things clearly. And when you get in this space of like, I'm really just hurting, so I'm going to buy stuff or I'm going to run away 
from myself. I'm really just hurting. I'm really having a hard time navigating them now. And so I feel like the universe is, is getting you to the point where there's nothing else to do but just be in the now. All right, so Ten of Cups and Three of Cups, the Chariot here. King of Swords, Three of Pentacles. See things clearly. Try to work together. I do feel like some of you might have a water sign in your life, a Cancerian or even an Aquarian. Cancerian, Aquarian, Pisces, and then there's also Sag, which we'll look at as we keep going here. But I do feel like as you see things more clearly and you just like purge and let go of the heart that's happened, the things that have ha happened to you in the past in your in terms of your heart, whether you've been through some kind of abusive situation um, or you've been through um, a lot in the last seven to 10 years, I'm gonna say. It's time to release and let go of that. Take the lessons in, but release and let go of the hurt. Okay, um, I wanna clarify the chariot here. Four of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Seven of Wands, Death, Five of Cups. So this is about someone coming back around that I believe has caused you a lot of pain and hurt. Okay, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Cups. This person is coming back around. Okay, and I feel like you need to be out of the hurt of this person um, because it's coming back soon. Um, we'll look at timing in the extended here, but on the next holiday, uh, Thanksgiving, all right, that can be one of the uh, timing that's a possible Scorpio time period, Six of Cups, uh, to make some massive transformation. Somebody who has caused you a lot of hurt, they have a lot of regret. Um, I feel like you're going to push them back, okay? Um I feel like there's a reason. I feel like this person is coming around to make amends. And I don't think you can adequately accept the lesson of what you learned from this person until you let go of the hurt. And so when they show up, it's really about taking in the lesson. Okay, so the advice around letting go of the hurt. Seven of Pentacles, Three of Swords. Connect to the heart and release. Communicate that hurt, see what you've learned, okay? Learning new things, apologies, Queen of Wands, getting back to yourself, getting back to being yourself. But having perspective that other people deal through their own lens of stuff, this person may have hurt you a lot, um, but they may not be even aware of the extent to which um, their behavior was... Uh, harmful. Okay. They might not even be aware of it. So your job here before Thanksgiving is to connect to your heart and really feel into whatever this person may have caused or whatever damage has been happening to you. It's blocking love from coming in. It, it's, it's, and it's almost like you're manifesting this person to come back. It's like you need them in the flesh to be able to move past this. But here's the thing, the universe is saying to you, you're going to need to move past a big hunk of the feeling first before this person shows up. Because if this person shows up in your current mood in the way you are right now, you'll not really get as much from it as you would if you have moved through some of this pain and hurt, okay? Okay, so I'm going to continue on with this. If you want to continue on with me, I see Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I see Virgo. I see... Aquarius can't, you know, I see quite a lot of things here. So we'll, we'll take a look at those. All right. The link is below. If you want to continue on with me for this morning message, see you.